Welcome to the discussion today. We are looking at Mathematics Paper 2, KCSE 2022. And we are going to begin from question number one. Our question number one reads, An investor took a loan from a bank that charged interest. The loan and the interest accrued were repaid in monthly installments. The investor repaid 1,500 Kenya shillings in the first month and uh, each subsequent month the installments were reducing by Kenya shillings 50 until the loan was fully repaid. Determine the maximum amount that may be paid for that particular loan. So let us look at the solution to this particular question. We are told that the loan and the interest accrued were repaid in monthly installments and the investor repaid 1,500 in the first month. That forms our first term of 1,500. That points to an AP under sequences and series. We are also told that each subsequent month, the installment reduced by 50 shillings and our common difference becomes 50 but since it is reducing we are going to have it as negative 50. The next thing we are supposed to do is uh, to find the nth term and the nth term in this case is going to be zero because the loan was fully repaid meaning up to the last coin. We are supposed to determine the maximum amount that may be paid but before we find the maximum which refers to the sum we need to find the number of terms and in this case we know that the nth term in an AP is given by A plus N minus 1 you multiply by D. Our first term has been given as 1500 plus n which we don't have minus 1 we multiply by the common difference which is negative 50 and this equals to 0 we move down we are going to have 1500 plus we have n you multiply by 50 you get negative 50 n then negative 1 times minus 50 you get positive 50 being equal to 0 from there, if we take minus 50 to the other side, we are going to have 50n being equal to 1,500. You add 50, you get 1,550. And in this case, if you divide both sides by 50, our n is going to be equal to that one. Once we have the number of terms, we can now move forward and calculate the sum. And we know since this is an AP, sum of any terms is given by N divided by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1, we multiply by D. We know we are getting the sum of 31 terms, and if you take that one you divide by two, you are going to get 15.5. We multiply by, we multiply by two times A, and our A is 1500. That gives us 1500 times two, plus we have uh, N which is that one. That one minus one, you get 30. And therefore, we are going to have 30, you multiply by negative 50. We move down and have 15.5 into, we have 1500, you multiply by 2, you get 3000 minus 30 times 15, you get 1500. 3000 minus 1500, you get 1500. And therefore, our final answer is going to be equal to 15.5. You multiply by 1500, giving us a total of 
23,250 as the total amount of money that was paid for that particular loan. Thank you for watching and welcome to this channel. And in case you're watching this channel for the first time, we kindly request that you give us a subscription.